again, we can discuss this at much greater length during the campaign, but no surprise, we're here in Iowa. We're, I say it all over the country, so I might as well say it in Iowa. There's no reason why Brazil is ahead of America in the use and utilization of ethanol. America should catch up to Brazil and get ahead of Brazil, borrow what they've learned, learn some more, and get us at a point in which we really utilize ethanol in a big, big way. It can help Iowa, it can help America, and it can help us, and it can help us move us by a number of percentage points closer to energy independence, because it's here in the United States. We don't have to buy it from our enemies. We don't have to have other people buy it from our enemies. We can buy it from ourselves. And not only that, if we can figure out energy independence, if we can exploit solar power and develop a battery that stores the charge from solar power, if we can develop wind power, if we can safely expand nuclear power, France is majority nuclear power, China is going to build 40 more nuclear power plants. We just made a deal with India so they can build nuclear power plants. We haven't licensed a new nuclear power plant in I think over 30 years because they're not safe. Well, no kind of power is safe. All kinds of power has danger. It just happens to be that no one's ever lost their life in this country from nuclear power. And the forms of power that I'm talking about are all within our control. So is clean coal. Cleaning coal, sequestering carbon. There are 10 other things we have to do. But America has to do this now. We can't wait any longer. We can't wait for 30 years to license something. We can't wait for 10 years to study. We've got to put the money into the research. We've got to encourage private enterprise to do it. If private enterprise doesn't do it, we're all going to get it done. But we're getting to energy independence. We're getting closer to it in five years. We're going to get real close to it in 10 years. Maybe we'll get there in 15 years, and everything I've predicted I've done a lot faster than I ever said I would do. And we will get this done together. It will be a great national enterprise for us. And then, just think about this. In addition to making us more secure, and we won't have to deal with our enemies, we'll also have a big new industry that we created, and we can go sell our products to China, to India, to Japan, all these other places that are growing, particularly China and India, bringing people into the middle class, and they are going to need energy alternatives, and America should be the one to sell it to them and straighten out our trade deficit in a positive way. Yeah. Most important, I'm running for President of the United States because I believe I can keep this country on offense against terrorism. And what I hear in the debate that's going on, particularly on the other side of this presidential campaign, is a big rush back to playing defense. I'll just take a moment to discuss with you what I think of what's going on in Congress. I, I have never, or I can't remember this, I can't remember ever in the history of war, when one country that had decided to retreat announced the schedule of their retreat to the enemy. 